Life Cycle Impact Assessment, LCA, 4.2. Method of Critical Volumes. Table of Content. Definition of Terms. C. V. Equals Critical Volume. F. U. Equals Functional Unit. Method of Critical Volumes Critical volumes are the volume occupied by a unit mass of a gas or vapor in its critical state. It was first proposed in the popular Swiss bus study, in 1984, and it includes an aggregation of emissions into air and water, in the case of current legislation with threshold values. The method can also be applied to the soil compartment, but due to a lack of threshold values, it was only used infrequently. The approach can theoretically be extended to groundwater as well. The critical volume C, v, of an emission per functional unit FU, into an environmental medium J, is the starting point for an aggregation to critical volumes. The equation for critical volume C V equals emission functional unit emitted into medium J, mass, limit value for I in medium J mass, volume, volume. The emission per FU is calculated over the entire life cycle of the substance and thus represents the mass aggregation of all unit processes associated with the individually released substances I in the inventory. Due to the fact that the majority of limit values have the dimension mass per volume, the aggregation has the dimension volume and is therefore referred to as critical volume. A mass per mass definition of the limit values, for example in the soil compartment, would result in a critical mass, which is not common. Interpretation. Since existing limit values determine the size of the C. V. Those air pollutants with the lowest limit values specified in table below, dominate the sum value. In regulations the lowest limits can be found for substances damaging human health in low concentrations. Limits that encompass the damage to ecological systems as a whole do not exist. Interpretation continue. Table 4.1 Critical Volume Air, Example. Pollutant Load, Mg Fu-1, Limit Value A, Mg M-3, C, V, M3 Fu-1, Sulfur Dioxide SO2 with a load of 467,000, Limit value of 0.03 and critical volume of 15.6 times 6 million. Nitrogen oxides NOx with a load of 199,000 limit value of 0.036.63 times times 6 million. Hydrocarbons HC with a load of 323,000 limit value of 150.02 times 6 million. Carbon dioxide CO2 with a load of 77,775,000 limit value of none. Infinity, critical volume zero. Sum, 22.25 times 6 million. Criticism. This ancient method, while ideal in terms of feasibility, simplicity, and reproducibility, and even expandable in the case of existing limit values, has been critically rated since about 1993, CML method of impact categories, and is thus rarely used outside of Switzerland, in part by BASF's 13. Despite operational advantages, the primary reasons for this declining attitude are as follows. Purely scientifically deduced limit values are extremely rare. They incorporate elements of feasibility, analytic detectability, science's cognitive boundaries, and social or economic desirability, among others. While some limits may be close to scientifically established toxicological effect thresholds, political objectives prevail in others. A component of evaluation is incorporated into impact assessment in particular through the use of limit values that are partially defined by political reasoning. Country-specific restrictions apply. If no constraints exist, values are constructed using a variety of auxiliary assumptions. For a their large number of substances, particularly those with no effect threshold, or no legal limits or, if there are, they are only in the form of technical indicative values, as is the case with carcinogenic working substances. References Fetters, R.F., 1979. A Method to Estimate Critical Volumes. H. Journal, 25, 202. Klopfer, W., and Grawl, B., 2014. 
Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, A Guide to Best Practice. John Wiley & Sons.